Good evening. My name is Barbara Frockier and I love opera, especially tragic opera, because it just enthralls you. And after a while, when you become familiar with all the operas, you will become so enchanted with the music that I bet you anything at the end of all these operas, you're going to cry like mad. Bonjour, everyone. I would like to introduce you to Andrea Chenier. He was a poet, a famous poet in France during the Revolution, Louis the Sixteenth. He fell in love with an aristocrat, and of course, at that time, the populace couldn't wait to get rid of the aristocracy. So since he was a peasant, falling in love with the aristocrat made him an aristocrat. And so they went to the guillotine. This guard is holding them all open so they don't rush through. The next opera is Dialogue of the Carmelites. And they were um, always in seclusion. And then they decided that uh, apparently they were known by the aristocracy. So what they, have, they did was they took them up the stairs to the guillotine, one by one. The music is very dramatic, especially at the end, because... The orchestra sounds like the guillotine. It ends with a whoosh. And, and here is the culprit right here. The guillotine. But they go to heaven. And so God is waiting for them in heaven. With a little blood trickling down, that is. And that's it, Sheen. Hello, I'm going to take you back to ancient Egypt and Aida, who falls in love with a handsome Egyptian prince, Radames. They both belong to two different tribes and he falls in love with her and she falls in love with him. But the princess of the tribe where Radames belongs to becomes jealous and she decides that's the end of him and she puts him down into the crypt but little did he know that Aida was hiding and waiting for him and so they die peacefully and then they drift up into heaven past the pyramids and into the sunset I would like to introduce a series of operas that are tragic. But I did want to introduce this one, which is Rusalka. It is also a fairy tale. And poor Rusalka meets this handsome prince, but she's a mermaid. And she, later on in the opera, develops legs but the prince never cares for her this is her realm of the rocks and the sea and all the creatures beneath the sea 
are her real friends. I'm very sure that you all know the story of Hansel and Gretel. Two young children that decide to go on a little journey and just wander up the path by themselves. Their mother and father are very worried, but they find a way because they're hungry and there's a little house in the background baking cookies. They can smell that cookie smell. Oh, they are so hungry. And so they wander off. Little did they know that there was a wicked witch in there who captured especially the boys and put them in the oven and made cookies out of them. But Hansel and Gretel turned tide and they decided to overbake the witch and she was really burned up. And they came back and the tragedy was over. Here is this gorgeous woman and she's not afraid to show all. Therefore, she captures Don Giovanni's heart and he loves all women and he thinks he has heard about Carmen but Carmen could not compare to his babe. I'd like to introduce Carmencita. Everybody knows Carmen. Everybody knows the Toreador. And also Don Jose. And she was some babe, let me tell you. The guys were crazy about her. But unfortunately, fate took a turn. And one day when she was up in the hills with the rest of the gypsies, they played cards, and everybody was so happy. The women, they had hearts and diamonds. And Carmen said, it's my turn. And she picks a card out and produces the Ace of Spades. Not once, not twice, but three or four times. She knew that she was dead. She was gone. She was finished. Now, with the tragedy of all these operas, it comes down to one opera or series. Der Ring des Nibelungen by Richard Wagner. I'm very happy to say that I belong to the Wagner Society of Northern California. And this is the magic ring that brings death to whoever wears it. <laughs> Danke schön. <laughs> Hello, as everyone knows, they are very familiar with the popular opera Rigoletto by Giuseppe Verdi. It's sort of a sad opera about a deformed father and his beautiful young daughter who falls in love with the royal prince. It sort of goes on and on and on, but at the end, Rigoletto wants to have the prince eliminated. So he sets up a date to meet at this old house. Where, which is owned by a brother and sister. Now, Rigoletta was supposed to go there and the brother and sister are supposed to murder the prince, put, them, put him in a sack, and that's the end of that prince. But Rigoletto's daughter is in love with the prince, so she goes there first and they murder her. And he goes to get the body and he takes the wrap off and finds his, his daughter. And he, he shouts these words, Il maledizione, which is the curse. And this says, house of the curse.
il maledizione. <laughs> We're all at sea now. And there is a sea captain with a storm, stormy seas, exciting waves. And there is an abandoned ship with these sailors, which he welcomes aboard on his ship. One of the sailors is a very popular man, and everyone looks up to him. His name is Billy Budd. But the sea captain doesn't like that because he wants to be in command. He wants the men to obey him, not Billy Budd. So he decides to do away with Billy Budd and he murders him and throws him off to sea. And all that's left of Billy Budd is his cap and a little bit of blood. And that's it. Bon voyage, Billy. Okay, last but not least, La Boheme by Puccini. Everybody loves La Boheme. The story about a poet and a painter. In their life in a garret in Paris. It is tragic. They both have love affairs, but Rudolfo falls in love with Mimi, who was a seamstress, and she dies at the end. And it's extremely sad, but everybody loves a good cry once in a while. Thank you. This is part of my show for Opera Tragedy, which is presented by Montserrat Contemporary Art Gallery. It'll be here for the whole month of September. In the spring, we are going to do a follow-up. Since this is tragedy, we are going to have comedy. And I will have a surprise, and we will also have live music to accompany me with my hilarious comedy opera sequence. <laughs>